Alexandria is going to get some heavy rain. You know, the old pipes can't handle all the water. So with the overflow, untreated human waste goes into the Potomac. I know it's gross. That's why they say don't swim in it, right? But a project years in the making is aiming to change that. And 7 News' Joy Wing has the details. You're looking at the Alex Renew Wastewater Treatment Plant, where every year the facility purifies 13 billion gallons of wastewater. These treatment processes are essential for removing harmful bacteria, everything that would cause any issues to the environment. But when heavy rain falls in Alexandria, the old pipes can't handle all that overflow, which means untreated wastewater ends up in the Potomac River. This is dating back to the 1800s. It's the original sewer system, and it has one pipe in the ground that collects both rainwater and sewage. The solution? A tunnel that would divert those overflows back here to be treated. Planning and permitting started in 2018. There's an aggressive seven-year timeline to get it all done. Hazel, a custom-made tunnel boring machine, is the star of the show. It's essentially a giant drill with a rotating color head, which is essentially a drill bit. This is just a model. The actual machine weighs 380 tons and includes... Like electrical, hydraulics, ventilation. She's already in place at the bottom of the shaft. As Hazel digs, crews will put up concrete segments behind her. We have to support the ground that's exposed. This vehicle right here is necessary in order to bring in all of these concrete panels. Each one weighs two tons and they need 15,000 of these to create the tunnel. Right now, the crane you're seeing is actually gonna lower us down a 100 50 foot shaft. We're going to be inside of this cage right here to go down about 12 stories. It's being used for their mining operation now, but in the future, it's actually going to be their pump station and we're going to go meet Hazel in person. And here we are at the bottom of the shaft. We crawl through a small space to get to the front where Hazel will dig through two miles of dirt, rocks and other materials. And that process will take about 14 months to tunnel and then we'll have to come back in behind it and build the, the permanent structures. Elevators, stairs, equipment, any infrastructure necessary for crews to pump all the water traveling through this tunnel up to treatment. In total, $615 million to make it all happen. At the heart of it is a water quality project. Hazel's first day on the job was November 1st. In Alexandria, Joy Wang, 7 News.